Hi, everybody. Hi, Tiago. Hi, Liz. Hi, everybody. It's Thursday. Sorry earlier when I didn't realize that it was the 7th. I just kind of feel that right now um, uh, the date is not as big of a priority for me as the actual physical day. That's, it's disturbing when I don't really know what day it is. Um, so day is focused, date secondary. But thanks to Denise Barreto, I got a DM that said, hey, Lisa, it's the 7th. Um, but lucky for all of us, today is Thursday and we will be joined by singer extraordinaire Nora O'Connor, who's also my neighbor, and I'm hoping that after all of this is over, she just starts doing live concerts from her front porch, because then I could just walk down the street and go listen to her sing, and that would make me so very happy. Behind us, oh, that's right, I'm supposed to point. This is one of Jordan Scott's mandalas made out of stamps. He's a stamp collector. He has scanned them. And then he makes them into these beautiful mandala sort of, I mean, they're not, they, they are 16 by 16 and they are very much um, mesmerizing and you can probably go into them and really focus, but they're just, they're gorgeous. And they're in the gallery windows at 1100florence.com, <laughs> 1100florence gallery, and they will be behind me all week long. But all week long is really only two more shows because today is Thursday and tomorrow is Friday and it's the 8th tomorrow, right? Because that's what comes after 7. Tomorrow we're talking to art artist Ellie Hazlitt. She's probably going to make me wear a different scarf because she's a little bit annoyed that I'm not wearing her scarves. Hi, Jamie with Stumbling Relish. I miss you. Oh my gosh. Hi, Nora. I'm going to invite Nora in. Hi, Ann Wolf. Hi, Denise Bredo. Hi, Jack. Wow, everyone's here today. Nora, you have so many fans. I'm very, very excited that we're going to go live with her. Hi, Nora. Hi. I'm loved by dozens, dozens and dozens of people. <laughs> Hi. You know, I want, I want people to see my guitar because I swear I'm totally shredding over here, but that's okay. Just believe me, You're I'm shredding. <laughs> there. Are you alone performing today? Today I am alone, yes. Okay. You know, I don't, I, I don't have accompaniment today. I'm okay. just grateful what are to you be alone in my house. <laughs> Lucky. I know. Every now and again, you get five or ten minutes. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you singing today? So I was thinking today, I'm kind of, um, I'm kind of in a sad, well, I'm always in a sad country song kind of a mood, just always. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking today I would sing y'all a, a really nice, croony, lefty Frizzell song. Nice. Yeah. So I'm going back a ways. Oh. Yeah. So I can sing it now. Do you want me to sing you a song right now? You You're talk about this stuff? Now let's sing first and talk later. Okay. Thanks. Okay, good. Okay, good. Okay, hi. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, Lisa. Uh, this is a Lefty Frizzell song, and it's called I'll Try. I'm all alone since you went away. you've gone and you said you were gonna stay and you told me to forget you
there's something I gotta do. I'll search this whole world for another. When my search is through, maybe I'll have someone else who can take the place of you. You told me to forget you. Then you said goodbye. I don't know if I can or not, but darling, I will try. I feel better. <laughs> feel so much better. Why are you always in a mood to sing that kind of music? You know, I don't know. I, I just find, and I think many songwriters and singers will agree that the sad songs say so much. Well, Elton John would say that, but we just like the sad songs. It's 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 healing for us. It really is. I thought maybe because that music, your voice sounds the best. Is, is that something that matches your style the best? For sure, yeah. I'm pretty country, I'm pretty bluegrass. I mean, I grew up in, uh, I'm first generation Irish, so a lot of Irish music going on in my house, a lot of parties, a lot of drunk Irish adults singing all the time. And then I went to school in Southern Illinois and hooked up with a lot of bluegrass people, and so, yeah, it's just kind of what's in my DNA, really. It's so perfect. It's such a just, it's a beautiful sound. Um, how was your fundraiser last time you were on the show? You were about to do a fundraiser. Can I ask how, what that experience was like and how that went using that platform? Yeah, I mean, it was great. It was, for us, I did it with my band, The Flat Five. And what we did, we, we, um, we did one of those Brady Bunch videos where we sang a song each in our little square. You know, Scott sang one part and sent it to us and then we put it all together. So we submitted um, a video for it so, and just kind of hung out on the live YouTube chat as the, um, as the fundraiser was going along. But there were some really, there were four groups that, that they were raising money for. My Hood, My City, My Block, My Hood, My City, um, the, some, um, uh, the Greater Chicago Food Depository, and a couple of, they, they raised a ton of dough. Lori Lightfoot nice. showed up, Pritzker showed up, um, Jeff Tweedy did a song, and all these different artists. Um, I think everyone submitted some stuff, and then they, they clipped it, spliced it all together to make the fundraiser on YouTube. It was, you know, I think it was good. We're all doing our best with this platform. And it's a really even playing field. You know, we all have the same sound quality. Yeah. <laughs> That's very true. And everybody looks the same too. No matter how dolled up people try to look, everybody kind of just looks the same. You also posted um, another fundraiser that you're doing to a group that's very dear to your heart. Can you share a little bit about that? Yeah, so this is going to be, well, this is next, next Friday night, May 15th. Uh, I'm doing a fundraiser with Sister District and Sister District of uh, uh, Greater Chicago. They're, um, they're raising money for uh, a state rep in Michigan. Her name is Lori Pahutsky, and she, um, her, her seat is really fragile. She only won by about 200 votes last time around, and Sister Ooh. District tends to go to other states like Virginia and Wisconsin and Michigan and finds those purple districts and try to tries to flip them blue and tries to get the progressives in those seats because you know we got Schakowsky we're doing okay here so we need to go we need to kind of branch out and 
to go help other other states that aren't so secure. And are so you going to a live performance or what what is the is the fundraiser? So the fundraiser is there's it's a really long link which you can find on my Instagram. The link is in my bio at Nora O'Connor Keen. Um, mm -hmm. it's gonna be a Zoom. It's gonna be on Zoom. So okay. it's gonna be me and my and a couple other guys, Liam Davis, who's here in Evanston, Gerald Dowd, who is kind of an honorary Evanstonian because he spends a lot of time here playing music with us. Um, so I'll do a handful of songs. Gerald will do some songs. Um, yes. the, some people from Sister District will talk about things that they're cooking up over the next several months leading up to November. Very cool. Yeah. I'm grateful for you that you are getting so involved and you're just being so open to this new world. Um, have, you re have you recently come to any epiphany or aha moments where you're like, oh, this is gonna be a great new avenue. I'm always gonna do concerts on Instagram Live from forever now, or are you just dying to get back in front of people? <laughs> well, I am dying to get back in, in front of people. Um, you know, this is kind of fun. This is a little more scary. It's it's weird just be kind of looking at my reflection in my phone and, and singing. Um, but, you know, it's all we can do right now. I sure do enjoy watching people that I love, like watching Robin Hitchcock in his living room singing songs or, you know, mm -hmm. any and Andrew Bird singing a song a day in his backyard. So mm -hmm. it's fun to have access to some of these musicians that are just, really giving their time and and uh, giving us their music. I think we need it. Yeah, I kind of feel like people are dying to see each other. And even if it's like five minutes with Nora, I honestly think it makes people feel better. Yeah, I enjoy it. I mean, I like to, you know, Jeff Tweedy does, um, He's his wife has an Instagram handle, Stuff in Our House. And they're on every night from nine o'clock to 10 o'clock. And we cozy up on the couch and it's so entertaining. Jeff sings and his kids sings and, and Sue is really funny. And it's very sweet. I think people do find comfort. Um, yeah. And do you, um, do you watch it or is it just background noise? Or do you like pay close attention for an hour? Uh, sometimes we, you know, if we're settled in, we'll just lay around and watch it or just kind of keep it on and we'll hook up a speaker and walk around. And when they start singing a song, we'll come back and watch Sammy Tweedy sing a song and with his dad. It's very sweet. That's so sweet. Yeah. And I, and I also think it's such a gift, like you were saying with Andrew Bird with his daily song. I know Yo-Yo Ma's been doing a daily song. I just yeah. feel such like a beautiful gesture. Yeah. I think, you know, people are grasping for straws, but finding, but finding some really good straws, you know, they're, they're finding, they're finding new ways to sing songs, you know, new ways to invent songs and, um, you know, present them to their audience. So it's, it's well, interesting, some interesting silver linings. Yeah. And it's, I mean, really, it's also very, um, the, the nicest thing about seeing people is just the calming factor. I really, um, I'm gonna, yeah, I definitely feel like I'm, it's better to keep connecting with people if you can, um, but people are asking for James Keen. I, I have to be honest, Nora, people like you, but whoever James Keen was, um, they miss him a lot. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to share that with him. So let him know. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll tell him next time we'll, we'll have to do a little duet. Next time you'll do a duet. All right, well, thank you so much for today. That was beautiful. Yeah, thanks for having me. We'll 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 spice it up a little next time, and uh, we'll we'll see you here at six o'clock tomorrow. Who do you have on the show? Oh my gosh, Ellie Hazlett. She is such a talented artist. She, so she does beautiful painting. She does like screen printing and makes scarves and tablecloths. But most recently, somebody sent her a scan of a drawing their child did, and she designed for them. I'm like, what are you doing? She's so productive and interesting. So we're gonna go and do a studio tour with her tomorrow. It's a lot of amazing people out there, Nora, and you're one of them and I'm so grateful. Yeah. For you. Well, thank you for bringing us together and, and creating all this cross-pollination of, of all these awesome people. Oh yeah, and have a happy Mother's Day on Sunday. Oh, likewise, thank you.
Yeah. We reproduced and we're not going to burn down our houses. That's not what we're doing. No, we're not doing that at all. No, we might, we might just ask to have it to ourselves for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> or, or 10 minutes. Seven or 10 minutes. minutes. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Lisa. Nora, have a great night. Thank you. Bye. Okay, so I just want to take a couple minutes to talk to you about something that has come to life in the last mm, four or five days that I'm really excited about. And um, for those of you that are just here uh, for Nora, I'm fine if you jump off because I know it's almost dinner time and people are busy. But there's been a lot of talk. And also the mayor brought this up the other day. Um, is there any way that the arts community in Evanston specifically could step up and create some type of glue or layer of connection? And about five years ago, um, Evan Finnamore, who's a friend of mine and a community organizer and a total badass, had brought a proposal to do Yard Art Day, which typically takes place on Labor Day weekend in the United States, North America specifically, um, to do, uh, it's sort of like found object, earth art, yard installations, and then your town, if they participate, makes a map and you go around and you check out all the art and it's self-directed and it's super fun. But the idea really never took off and it's just been sort of sitting in like an ideas stack that I have in one of my 7,000 email addresses. And recently uh, we heard from Jenny Rook at the Institute for Therapeutic Arts who was like, actually last Thursday, she was like, the nonprofit community really wants to do an art event where the whole city gets together and turns the town into a citywide gallery and we all get to engage with art. And so Evan jumped in with Liz Kramer's help and my help and Indira Johnson's help and a handful of people and essentially designed um, an initiative called Evanston Art Connects or just Art Connects. And I'm telling you this because if you're in Evanston, I need you to participate. <laughs> I'm not just telling you to like hear myself talk people. I need you to get to work. Um, so for the month of May, we're asking that people make art um, in celebration of the following helpers, nurses, first responders, essential workers, um, post office people, right? Make them a sign that says, thank you. Make them a piece of art and hang it from a tree that says, I love you and appreciate you. Make a heart sculpture out of sticks and take a picture of it and make, right? Just make in celebration. Also make in celebration of graduates, right? So we've got kindergartners, eighth graders and seniors in high school and seniors in college and MFA kids who are gonna graduate and not have a graduation. So what we're asking is that the entire city basically turn every window and every yard and every parklet and every empty storefront into a mini art exhibit. And then on Memorial Day weekend, which I think is gonna be probably be the first weekend that America's grounded, like no one's gonna go camping, right? Maybe four people will, but most people are gonna be home this Memorial Day weekend. We're going to work with the city of Evanston um, to create a map of all the places where there are art. Brianna, you can do this. You're an Evanston made member. We'll find a window for you. Don't worry. There's a survey that we put up on the Evanston made member Facebook page that says if you wanna participate, we're opening this up to all Evanston artists, all Evanston residents, all Evanston made members. And essentially what it does is it shares a little piece of beauty with the whole entire community. And then on Memorial Day weekend, we will have an online map where people can go and they can, you know, they can see yard art, they can see public sculpture, they can see um, art inside of a window of an empty storefront, but there will be a really easy touring mechanism. And I wanna show you the logo that got made by Laura Brown, who's a very talented designer. So as you'll see, this is the sort of loose outline of Evanston map, right? Can you see it? Can you see it? And the hearts are the locations of police stations and hospitals, just a couple of them. And we're asking that, you know, so citywide, 
starting basically now, people do these installations and they upload the images with the hashtag Evanston Art Connects. Um, and that way we can curate all the images and we can share them. And if you follow Evanston underscore made on Instagram, you'll be able to see all of these art installations. And the funnest part I have to say, I know we only have like a minute. Um, the funnest part of this whole initiative is we basically designed this program or this initiative, right? To, hi Caitlin, um, to be given away, sort of. So if, if the theme Evanston Art Connects happens, right? And the community feels a sense of solidarity around art and gets to have a shared experience around art, it's possible that other communities might pick this up and also do it. So really Art Connects is just the main generic. We're giving away the logo, we're giving away the graphics, we're giving away um, the, the concept on like how to participate. We're not making it like a, this is a Lisa D show or Evanston made thing. We're basically just taking a concept and throwing it into the air and hoping, fingers crossed, that people participate. Um, because like the mayor of Evanston said, like our good friend Nora just said, um, people are really looking for a connection right now. And it's happening in fits and starts. Um, this six o'clock show has been a really fun connection, but it would be great if there could be a citywide initiative that everybody could do. And right now, like we all can't go to a concert, we all can't go to summer camp. So maybe we all can make art um, and share art. So over the next couple weeks, we will be rolling out um, lots of promotions and programming around Evanston Art Connects. And I'm hoping for any of you who are watching, if you are an artist or a maker, um, yeah, exactly, make art, not Rona, um, or you have, you're a, a store owner and you have an empty storefront um, or a store that's closed and you don't want people in it, um, we're just asking that you get involved and participate and help make this art experience happen. Ooh, Ann Stevens, you just jumped into the conversation. There's another initiative happening in the same time, but this one is actually the entire state of Illinois, and it's a fundraiser for the Arts Alliance. It's called Art in Place. If you Google Art in Place or you go to CNL, projects.com you'll see it that invites artists to it's a lot like the terrain biennial exhibits where people do installations in front yards and in windows but the art in place initiative will be taking place i think between may 20th and june 20th a little bit longer um you can also um and just posted at cnl projects there on instagram you can look up the sign up there. It's totally free to participate and artists will be able to sell their work. So that's gonna be happening at the same time. And we're also going to add all of those installations to the Memorial Day weekend map. So really, we're just hoping to turn Evanston, I'm talking so much, I'm sorry, the show's over, but we're gonna just turn Evanston into a city-wide art gallery. And I'm super excited, so yes. Art everywhere, on every surface, every inch, all levels of makers, from the dinkies who are five, who are building things with sticks, to the MFA person who's doing an installation, hopefully on the empty Barnes & Noble building. Oh, oops, was that a surprise? Sorry, Matt Rappaport. Um, so yeah, that's it, I'm done. Tomorrow, I'll be back at 6 p.m. Central Time on the Lisa D Show on IGTV, talking to Ellie Hazlett. I think I've been mispronouncing Ellie's last name wrong for like three years now doesn't matter. We're going to see her amazing art and we're going to go into her art studio and you're going to be blown away. So have an awesome Thursday. Sorry that I talked so long. Thank you, everybody. And thank you, Nora, for singing. Ugh, my gosh, that was amazing. I'm not going to burn down my house, though. That would be bad. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Have an awesome night.